Well, joining us on this edition of the News Review, we have uh, Bijan Tavas, so the member of Germany's left party, who's with us from Hamburg. Also, we have John Bosnich, political analyst, who's with us from New York. Mr. Tavasoli in Hamburg, let's start off with you. Uh, is this deal now basically up in the air? Well, the current situation uh, in, in Germany, the political situation is such that a super majority of the population wants German troops out of Afghanistan. The um, parliamentarians in a German Bundestag who have decided to prolong the mandate for now over 20 years, um, these people are not in sync with the majority of the German population. And I hope that at the coming September elections, the population will vote them out because the German uh, population, by a large majority, wants this foreign interference in Afghanistan to end. And we do not believe that Germany should, uh, should um, project force into other countries, because the only thing it does is project instability. Mr. Bozic, uh, let's pick up on that thought. Mr. Tavasoli says the majority of Germans want their troops home. I think it's safe to say that the majority of Americans want their troops home as well. Why is this not happening? Well, the majority of all people in all countries want their troops home because they don't like war. That's the basic concept that, uh, that most of our governments are set up to deny. Um, you know, this is, what's happening now with the extension of German soldiers staying in Afghanistan is not uh, something that started today. This is something that uh, began way back in the 1990s when Joschka Fischer, the leader of the Green Party, which had been co-opted by the military-industrial complex, became the man who pushed for military intervention in uh, the Balkans. And uh, I asked him whether the Green in the name of the Green Party represented camouflage green. Because what has happened is a part of the left has been peeled off from the real left, turned into so-called green parties. And today we've got a statement from uh, Annalena Bayerbock, who is the head of the German Green Party, who is calling for a massive buildup of the Bundeswehr, which is the federal army of Germany. Now, that does not at all sound to me like the Green Party that we heard of when it was first formed. So what has happened here is that the military-industrial complex has co-opted a part of the soft left, leaving out the real left who my fellow commentator today represents, and attempting to grab their voter group in the parliaments, not just in Germany, but all across the world. Biden was strongly supported by the military industrial complex, even though his leftist leaning American dreadlock, ear pierced and tattooed supporters voted for him. They voted for him thinking that he was a soft Uncle Joe. He's no soft Uncle Joe, he's war Joe. And we are looking at an extended period of military activity, not just by America, but by America's main foot soldiers in Europe, which have always been Germany. And we have to remember that before World War II, an English prime minister, Lloyd George, referred to Adolf Hitler as the greatest living German. We are seeing a repeat of the militarization of Germany by the English, by the Americans, by the paymasters in the West who want nothing more than, than to sick Germany on Russia and later on China. That is the big picture, which no mainstream lying media will ever, ever tell you. Okay, Mr. Bosnich, I'm going to stay with you. We were talking about Europe. We're talking about Germany. We're talking about America. Let's also talk about Afghanistan. Uh, if these foreign forces uh, remain uh, in the country, how will this change the, uh, the security setup there? Well, obviously, uh, uh, Afghanistan is a colonial territory of the NATO powers. Um, the so-called government, which is just a puppet regime, which is in power in Kabul, and which operates out of a so-called green zone, which is a fortified bastion into which its own citizens are not allowed to enter without an iris scan. This is the, this is the archetypical definition of a military colony. Now, the Americans have 
decided that they're going to stay longer. And since they don't want to deal with uh, domestic political opposition in the midterm elections, which are now less than two years away, they need the Germans to do the heavy lifting for them. So Angela, Angela Merkel, who is, you know, the the friendly, smiling female leader of Germany, because the war complex likes to have female leaders, and they've got a female leader of the German Green Party, and they've got female leaders leading the war cry. Then it won't be long before Kamala Harris is the US president egging America on to war again. The, the sideshow, and it is just a sideshow, of Afghanistan is intended to keep the tensions high and to keep the troops ready for battle. You in Iran, just to let you know, you are the next sideshow because you are a target of the American industrial complex because of your rich oil reserves and because of your strategic position. And this is why Russia and China need to protect you and Russia and China need to protect the people of Afghanistan from further American aggression. That's all this is. And I'm sorry to hear that the German government is just saying, Jawohl, mein Kommandant, to their leaders in Washington. Okay, Mr. Talasili, would you like to respond to that? Well, it's, uh, it's not news that German governments uh, have always... Uh, um, followed the commands from Washington. And uh, I would disagree on one point. I don't think that it's um, going to be the brunt of the, of the losses of the soldiers in, in, in the German army because that would be a political destabilization of Germany as well. Um, we have the elections in, in September and if the German army were to suffer heavy losses in Afghanistan, that could actually uh, not only put the current government in jeopardy, but the Green Party, as you um, very eloquently pointed out as well, because the Green Party has been supporting this um, militaristic turn of the German foreign policy. It has been initiated by a member of the uh, German Green Party. And so all this uh, complex of parties supporting this pro-American transatlantic uh, military foreign policy would be put into jeopardy if uh, Germany were to suffer heavy casualties in Afghanistan. So I do not believe that German soldiers would be put on the front line. I think there will be more logistic positions. But even that gives them ample opportunity to commit war crimes. And this is one more reason for them to immediately withdraw from Afghanistan. Just a, a note, if I could add here. Sure. Um, I think that uh, I think that there's no a chance that they'll be deploying ter German troops in any greater numbers or in any greater uh, capacity until after the election. As we know, elections are just to tell lies, to get power for a new mandate, and then afterwards you change the policy and do whatever you want. That's what's coming up. Before, before your ele elections this fall, you will see no activity whatsoever. They've merely extended the mandate beyond this year so that the heavy lifting and the heavy bombing can start after the election when they've got absolute power for the next several years. That's the parliamentary system. No referenda, no recall, and let's have a government that has carte blanche to do whatever they want for the next three to four years. That's what's happening in Germany now, the preparation for the expansion of German militarism. All right, gentlemen, let's leave it there. Member of Germany's left party, Bijan Tavasoli, joining us from Hamburg. Also, thanks to political analyst John Bosnich joining us from New York. With that, it brings us to an end here on this edition of the News Review. Do stay tuned. There's plenty more to come here on Press TV.